This is for fourth grade ELA text at 12, um, genre study historical fiction. Have any of you have ever heard of Harry Houdini? Houdini was a magician, ma magician famous for his illusions and escape arts. Illusions are things that appear differently from what they are really are. The historical fiction book we're going to read next is The Houdini Box, written and illustrated by Brian Silznick. This main character is Victor, a boy who is fascinated with Houdini and his fantastic magic tricks. A Curious Story of a Magic and Escapology, as performed by Harry Houdini and a little boy named Victor, with special appearances by Victor's mother, Aunt Harriet, and the lovely Miss, Mrs. Houdini, we begin. Houdini was a magician. He could pull rabbits from hats, make elephants disappear, and do a thousand card tricks. Locks would fall open at his fingertips, and he would escape from ropes and chains and cabinets and coffins. Police from around the world couldn't keep him in their jar, jar, jails, and the oceans and the seas couldn't, drawn, couldn't drawn, drown him. Bolt Houdini was a metal box and throw, throw him in the water. He will escape. Lock him in a jail, handcuffed and helpless, in any city in the world, Moscow, New York, Vienna, Paris, or Providence. Houdini will escape. Everyone was wonderstruck by Houdini, but children were especially delighted. Children want to want to be able to escape from their rooms when they were sent there, there for being bad. They want to make their dinners appear disappear and their parents vanish. They want to pull candy from their pockets and without putting it away in, turn their sisters into puppies and their brothers into frogs. So though some children want to turn their puppies and frogs into sisters and frogs. Children liked Houdini because he could do the unexplainable things that they wanted to do. Houdini was a magician. Magicians can do anything. Victor was 10. He wanted to be a magician, too. When Victor was 8, he read in the newspaper that Houdini had escaped from an iron milk can in under 20 seconds. Victor found his grandmother's trunk and closed himself inside. The lock snapped shut behind him. He tried and tried, but he could not escape in under 20, 20 seconds. In fact, he could not escape at all. So Victor cried and yelled until his mother came and ho came home and untied, undid the locks. She was very upset that her son had shut himself up in grandmother's trunk. Victor was very upset that he couldn't get out. When Victor was nine, he found that Houdini could hold the, his breath from over 5,000 seconds while escaping from a crate dropped into the ocean. If Houdini could hold his breath for 5,000 seconds in his crate in the ocean, then Victor could certainly hold his breath for 5,000 seconds in his tub in the bathroom. So during bath time, he put his head underwater and counted as fast as he could, but he never got to 5,000. His mother kept making him get out of the tub and breathe. Victor got his got this idea when he turned when he read that Houdini could walk through brick walls. Victor was sure he could do that. First he would he tried walking through slowly into a living room wall and pushing his way through. Nothing happened. Next he tried backing up across the room and running through the wall. He almost broke the lamp, that table a few pictures in his nose, but he didn't make it to the other side. Later that evening, after many unsuccessful hours, Victor finally got through the wall. He used the door. So how does Victor? How was Trick Victor trying to become like the Gray Houdini? How is he doing so far? Victor's mother was going crazy, unlocking her son from trunks, reminding him to breathe when he took a bath, and telling him not to walk into walls. She decided she would take him to visit Aunt Harriet. Maybe a weekend in the country would calm him down. It was while they were traveling there that the most incredible thing happened. Victor was looking around the huge, bustling train station when he saw, way across the crowds, Harry Houdini himself, buying tickets with his wife. Victor broke free from his mother's hand and ran straight to Houdini. He was filled with questions, millions and billions of questions. But which should he ask first? He took a deep breath, and this is what he, asked. he said. How can I escape from my grandmother's trunk in under 20 seconds? How do I hold my breath in the tub without running out of air? Why can't I walk through a wall like you can? How did you escape from jails and handcuffs and ropes and make elephants disappear? How? Congratulations, my young man, interrupted the smiling magician. No one has ever asked me so many questions in such a short amount of time. Are you a magician? 
I want to be one. I want to be one said Victor. Houdini remained silent for several moments. After looking at Victor and then at his wife, he finally said, Then listen. Give me the tag from your suitcase. Why? Your name and address are on it. When I write you a letter, I'll let I'll need to know where to send it, won't I? Victor immediately undid the little buckle and handed the tag to Houdini. After reading it, the magician bent down so he was face to face with the boy. He whispered, You want me to tell you the things I can't talk about in the middle of a busy train station, son? And if it's if I'm not mistaken, I set your mother heading this way. If it looks like you're going to, it, if it looks like you're going to get in trouble, you can blame everything on me. Then grinning ever so slightly, he added, Tell her Houdini tied you up for a moment. I'll write you a letter. Wait, just you wait. Houdini slipped the name tag into his pocket and disappeared into the crowd with his wife. The weekend in the country was not as restful as Victor, Victor's mother had hoped. Her son was so excited about having seen Houdini that he locked himself in Aunt Harriet's dresser and in the cabinet of her clock. He, whispered, he walked very fast into her walls and almost broke all of her old framed photographs. Aunt Harriet was not sad when they left. So think about the meeting between Victor and Houdini at the train station. What effect did it have on Victor? So I wonder if Houdini really plans to write Victor. What do you think?